What if I told you that the most popular weight loss drugs today might actually be sabotaging long-term weight loss? I've analyzed dozens of research studies on GLP-1s and discovered something unexpected that most people aren't talking about. What's up? I'm Dr. John Goh, an eye surgeon in Los Angeles, and I've spent years studying weight loss. I've lost 75 pounds and kept it off even while working 80-hour work weeks during surgical training. Today, I'm going to break down exactly how GLP-1 drugs compare to natural weight loss methods so you can make an informed decision about your own journey. But to understand why, let's take a look at how GLP-1s actually work. You've probably seen drugs like Ozempic and Wigovi on TikTok or YouTube, and people are calling them miracle drugs. I can understand why. 15 to 20% weight loss with zero effort, what's not to like? These medications mimic GLP-1, which is a hormone that slows food going through your stomach, decreases your appetite by acting on your brain, and it helps regulate blood sugar. It's like having a built-in portion control system. The science is solid. These drugs have been shown to help you eat less, resulting in losing weight. Sounds great, right? But there's something super important that's not advertised about these drugs. Let me tell you a story. A close friend of mine lost 40 pounds on Ozempic in just six months. Impressive. But then he started experiencing side effects, which got so uncomfortable, he had to stop the medication. It'd be great if that was the end of the story, but you know what happened? He not only gained all the weight back, but he was actually worse off than when he started because he also lost a whole bunch of muscle in the process. I remember we got together and calculated all the costs by the end of it so we could decide if it was truly worth it. And alongside the research that we'd done, here's what we found. It's about $1,000 to $1,500 per month without insurance. 30 to 50% of users experience nausea, vomiting, and other gastrointestinal issues, which forces them to eventually stop. People who had been taking weekly Wegovy regained two-thirds of the weight they had lost a year after coming off the drug and only retained about 5% of their body weight loss. What's worse, a number of studies suggest a disproportionate amount of muscle loss with GLP-1 enhanced weight loss, which ultimately decreases calories burned at rest. Now don't get me wrong, it definitely has been shown to help with blood sugar, heart health, even dementia risk, but if you're taking these drugs just for weight loss, you're risking all the side effects for potentially short-lived, short-term progress. With this in mind, are there ways to keep this weight off after getting off these drugs? How does the weight loss in the short term and the long term compare to traditional methods of diet and exercise? When I first started losing weight, I tried every quick fix and crash diet you could imagine. I'd lose weight fast, but then gain it all back plus more. It wasn't until I really understood a couple things that I was able to lose the weight for good. First off, body composition. Losing 15 pounds of fat and adding five pounds of muscle, which is a net total of 10 pounds of weight loss, is going to be much more impressive and better for you than losing 15 pounds of fat and losing five pounds of muscle, a net total of 20 pounds of weight loss. Greater weight loss on the scale does not mean better health or aesthetics. We have to pay special attention to the composition of the weight that you lose. If you're using GLP-1 drugs, you have to make sure that your protein and resistance training is on point. Remember, you want to maximize fat loss and minimize muscle loss. Otherwise, you risk losing too much muscle if you rely on the drugs alone. Second, and most importantly, behavioral adaptation. These are the habits and skills that stick with you for your life, like understanding portion control, managing stress eating, and ballpark calorie counting when eating out with friends. Using these drugs without learning the principles of balanced eating and exercise is like relying solely on technology without understanding the basic concepts. When the technology fails, you're left without the knowledge to succeed. Weight loss through diet and exercise might be slower at first, but you learn the skills necessary to maintain the weight loss for life. But here's where things get really interesting. Let's look at what happens after one year with each method. The data reveals something crucial that social media doesn't talk about. GLP-1 medications allow for quick initial results, 15 to 20% weight loss, but you're left reliant on the drug to maintain that weight loss. In the step one trial, people regained two thirds of the weight that they had lost a year after coming off the drug and only retained about 5% of that body weight loss. Now don't get me wrong, natural methods aren't much better. One study found only 20% of individuals maintain greater than 10% of weight loss at one year. So what can we do about this? There is no question weight loss is faster initially with the GLP-1 drugs, but the take home is if you take these drugs, do yourself a favor, and also learn the skills necessary to not only enhance the weight loss in the short term, 
but keep that weight off in the long term. These habits and skills like weight training, making good food decisions, and adopting healthy coping mechanisms are the same pillars of healthy natural weight loss that will only enhance and secure GLP-1 accelerated gains. GLP-1 drugs can be a powerful tool for some people, and I'm not against them, but they're not the complete solution that many people think they are. The most successful approach that I've seen both in my clients and in my own experience is building sustainable habits that you can carry for life. Numerous research studies suggest that combining GLP-1 drugs plus lifestyle changes outperform either method alone. Why? Because you're leveraging the drugs and you're learning the skills necessary to maintain that lifestyle. Whether you choose medication or natural methods or both, the key is combining your approach with proper nutrition, exercise, and habit formation. Speaking of systems that work, I've developed a science-based approach that helped me lose 75 pounds and keep it off even while working 80-hour work weeks as a surgeon. If you're interested in learning exactly how to implement these strategies in your busy life, check out my video right here. I break down my complete system and show you how to make it work with any schedule.